Happy anniversary, Star Fox. Woo, baby! Hear that? That's, that's me clapping. I am one of the five remaining fans of this franchise, baby. And I am super excited. Technically, the anniversary was on March 26, but I wanted to talk about it now. Wanted to go over a little bit about Star Fox, the history of Star Fox, go over some of the games, and then talk about the future of Star Fox. Because let's be honest here, there's a lot of worries right now that this franchise might in fact be dead. And it could be dead, but we'll get into that at the end of this video. And I just wanted to say, I am a big fan of Star Fox. Yes, yes, I was so excited when they announced Star Fox 2 was finally getting its release on the SNES Classic. It was the sole reason that I even got an SNES Classic. So that's how much I personally care about Star Fox. So yeah, let's give a little bit of history here. And we're gonna start off way back in the time of 1993 when I first actually tried the very original and yes, the greatest, that's right, I said it, the best Star Fox game out of any of the games in this series. Come at me, all you Star Fox 64 fans. No, I'm sorry, the original to this day is number one in my heart and will always be number one in my heart. Mwah! It is a pinnacle of excellence. There is just nothing better than that initial Star Fox goodness. I remember playing that with my dad and it was it was just wonderful. A truly great experience from head to toe. The story was simple, the gameplay was perfect, it had the new FX chip. You can't go wrong with it. It was excellent. And we followed that one up with another excellent Star Fox game, which was actually, in fact, Star Fox 64, which I believe released in 1997. And that game was mwah, so good too. Mwah, I just, I loved it. And anyone that played the original Star Fox or Star Fox 64, you were hooked. And if you ever want to know what Star Fox games to play, those are it because they are just tasty, tasty, delicious games that are just easily 9 out of 10s or even 10 out of 10s in my heart or in my book and I think in a lot of Star Fox fans as well. You just couldn't go wrong with them. It is just what Star Fox is at its heart, at its core, and it's what the fans want when they play a Star Fox game. And then Star Fox kind of got a little bit weird. None of the games quite clicked and they started doing some weird experiments. And the first one that comes to mind is Star Fox Command. That was a game I actually never touched and still haven't played to this day, but I've seen some of the video footage and it just doesn't quite hold up to as the originals did, you know, Star Fox and Star Fox 64 did. And then you had another game that came out on the GameCube called Star Fox Adventures. And I did play that game and I thought it was just really mediocre. I just couldn't get into it. I, I didn't finish the game. I, I couldn't. I got about halfway through the whole game and I put it down just because it just... It's not what I wanted out of a Star Fox game. But then I saw a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel when I tried a game called Star Fox Assault. And that game brought me back to kind of what I wanted out of a Star Fox game. But once again, it just couldn't hold up. And they were doing some experiments in that one. As you, I'm certain if any of you played that game, you know what's up. It doesn't hold up at all when compared to Star Fox 64 or the original one. But then Nintendo decided, hey, let's re-release Star Fox 64, bring it to the 3DS, and it was awesome to play it in 3D. I have it to this day right now, and it was one of my favorites to play on my 3DS. It is fantastic, and it, once again, it's just made me realize that, hey, maybe Nintendo realizes this is what the fans want, because that one sold really well, I believe, on the 3DS because that's all fans want. They want that type of gameplay. So I was certain that Nintendo had realized the, er the error of their ways, essentially. And then, oh man, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. To this day, I just pretend it didn't happen, but we gotta discuss it. Oh. The Wii U came along and I'm certain many of you were hoping, myself included, Star Fox Zero happened. And this game is terrible, awful, 
And for anyone that tried to defend this game, don't defend this game. Don't know, the controls were horrible. What would they think? The motion control thing with the Wii U gamepad. Oh. 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 And the story, it's the same story. And the levels, they were the same levels. And they did the experimenting again, and they all the experiments sucked horribly. Seriously, this was just abysmal of a Star Fox game. I just cringed. And this is what made us all worry, because this is the game that might have killed Star Fox entirely, except there is now new hope, for when the SNES Classic released, we got the unreleased Star Fox 2, which was technically supposed to come out at the end of the SNES life cycle, but they scrapped it entirely and made Star Fox 64. However, Star Fox 2, while it's not my favorite, you know, it's good, but it wasn't anything special. It got favorable reviews, and once again now, Star Fox has another good game on their hands, one that the gamers enjoy. And it gives us, at least it gives me, a little bit of hope again that Star Fox can in fact be saved. That doesn't mean though it can or will be necessarily saved. It could be the end still of Star Fox as we know it because that wasn't technically a release on its own. It was paired with a bunch of other games. So Nintendo wouldn't necessarily be able to say, yeah, this must be why everyone bought the SNES Classic. We need to make more Star Fox games. So that's the question that I'm going to hold up to you guys for this on topic is, are Star Fox games done with? Is the Star Fox franchise dead? Is it a game over for this franchise? And I really hope it's not. Personally, I think they can still make a great Star Fox game. With the Nintendo Switch, being able to take it anywhere obviously makes sense. And it's not like it's going to be that hard. All they would need to do to make a good Star Fox game is basically take Star Fox 64 actually add some new bosses, some really unique new levels, maybe go to a place that isn't the Lilat system, and have online multiplayer. Seriously, Arwing Battles in Space online multiplayer, that's an instant sell. That's just, it sounds so perfect and so beautiful, and I hope Nintendo you're listening, because there's a lot of us, okay? I make a joke that there's only five of us remaining, but there are actually a lot of Star Fox fans out there, and we want another Star Fox game. Please don't make it like the Wii U, and please don't port over the Wii U. I mean, I don't think you have, I don't even know how they could do that with the controls there, but listen to the fans here when we say, just go back to the originals and make it polished and give us an online multiplayer. Don't give up on this franchise, Nintendo. We want it. We love Star Fox. It can be great again. Make Star Fox great again, and I will buy it on day one. I guarantee you, if you just scrap the Wii U version and just make it anything remotely similar to Star Fox 64, I will buy it on day one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Bradley Overrated. If you like this video, or if you like what I'm trying to do on this channel, leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And always bear comfort that if you don't like my channel, and you don't like my content, that I am in fact Bradley Overrated. I am out like a trout. Have a good one.